In early July, Manachdi Farm in Anisabal was the venue for the first in a series of road shows taking place across Wales. The aim is to explain EID, electronic identification, to farmers, and the lessons that have been learnt from a pilot scheme involving 14 farms, funded by the Welsh Assembly Government and Hubby Key Cymru, Meat Promotion Wales. HCC and the Welsh Assembly Government uh, have undertaken a joint um, project to try and uh, test this technology on those 14 farms, also at uh, uh, an abattoir and also at a livestock market uh, to see which technology hopefully um, will uh, be uh, most uh, acceptable to farmers and most useful to farmers um, for the introduction of the legislation at the end of this year. Um, I think it's fair to say that uh, there have been mixed results so far, but the project um, uh, is not yet complete and we hope before the end of the year um, to have uh, more concrete information which will hopefully assist farmers in choosing which technology um, uh, is most suitable for their businesses. As with the introduction of any new technology, um, there are challenges obviously in dealing with uh, the animals on farm and also handling electronic equipment. Um, uh, the effectiveness of the readers varies uh, um, depending on the uh, supplier and the type of technology being utilised. There have been challenges under abattoir conditions, getting the technology to read um, up to 100% of the lambs that are, uh, um, have electronic identification uh, uh, in their ears or in boluses uh, and there have been challenges also at livestock markets uh, in terms of the throughput of the sheer numbers of animals and getting the uh, um, technology to work effectively under those conditions. All the lambs that are born indoors we tag them when they're about two days old, match them up to their mother's number, keep a record of it. Uh, the lambs that are born outside uh, when we actually gather them for the first time to bring them in we actually um, tag those lambs and try and match those up to as many mothers as we can because obviously it's easier to do it indoors than it is outside and um, through the year when we are doing uh, uh, drenching the lambs for example bolusing them or whatever we actually keep individual records of what we do the date and the product that we use it'll store all the information that you want to put in it it will store it as once you understand how to, how to use it, I mean, it's, it's, it's brilliant, really, when you, when you think about what it, it can actually do. We actually use it for um, weighing lambs, uh, you know, doing movements on lambs, because we've got another holding, which is 15 miles away. So when we move them back and forth, we, uh, we do electronic movement on them. Well, the biggest problem, I suppose, has been the amount of time it takes, um, or took in the very beginning because we electronically tagged all our ewes, which was 850 of them. <laughs> and this, this took, uh, well, actually, I suppose about 10 days' work because it was about five days' work reading the individual tags that were in the ewes to start with. And then when we had the electronic tags to put in the other year, we had to actually match them up again, you know, sing singly, which took a lot of time. Uh, getting over that... That was the biggest headache or biggest problem was in the very beginning. Um, problems have got less as, as we've gone on. The road shows will give farmers the chance to see EID technology in action. Although, judging by some of the comments at the first event, many will need to be convinced of the scheme's benefits, despite the fact that it becomes compulsory at the end of the year. I'm 55 and I do not intend to, 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 to turn to computers. Computers are not stockmen, and I cannot see, in my personal opinion, it, it's a load of nonsense. It's, very, it's traditional through the hills for thousands of years, earmarks, which every farmer within the area knows the earmark. They don't have to go to a computer to see that that's their neighbour sheep or their neighbour from three, four, ten miles away. So to me, it's a load of nonsense. I can't see how this industry can benefit at all. I've got a grandson, which is in Lachlan College. No, he's going through the system, plus he'll be able to cope with it. But I think it's an unfair burden that you're putting on the next generation. And I honestly feel very depressed in a way that we're getting pushed about all the time. They get this off the ground, they'll be looking for something else in the end, and where are we going to stop? If I could see a benefit in it, I'd be for it. But I can't see what benefit would be on it at all. Well, we'll have to tag them. Um, because it's law, but um, 
I've got a son that can use a computer. Um, if he wants to put this all down on a disc or whatever they call the damn things, well, that's entirely up to him. But personally, myself, no, I won't be putting it on. I'll keep a record on paper, but not through a computer. Simple as that. Habiki Cymru uh, and others in the Welsh red meat industry, along with the Welsh Assembly Government, have made strong representations to the European Commission um, as to the challenges of introducing the technology which isn't working 100% effectively. Um, and uh, those representations continue to be made. However, at the end of the day, um, this legislation will be introduced in some way, shape or form, and farmers will need to comply with it uh, from the uh, beginning of uh, 2010. And it's uh, our role as an organisation to try and ensure that they have the opportunity um, of uh, seeing that technology in practice and that they know as much about it uh, uh, as possible before they take a, a decision on its introduction on their farms. If I asked you to sum up your experience of the trial so far, what would it be? Very interesting. <laughs> Difficult on times. Um, and that's about it. Positive? Negative? Positive. No. Quite negative in the beginning. Positive now.